It's a food Friday, and you know what that means. We're gonna be cooking. Here's what we'll be needing. We got uh, um, there's flour, mm, egg, and others. They are there too. Let's start getting cooking. Today, we're making mango pancakes. But I, I just I got a blueberry pancake recipe and we're just, we're just swapping out the blueberries for the mangoes, you know. Mangoes, best fruit, so it'll work. That's just, it's the best, it's gonna work. Here we go, we got a bowl and a, a mixer. I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients up. So we got a cup of flour, pour that in. And then this is baking powder. Or was it soda? Anyway, it's there. Um, we're pouring that in too. And then we have baking something. This is the other one. We pour that one in too. And then we have sugar. This is like uh, two tablespoons-ish. Uh, and then now all we gotta do, take the whisk. I'll do it like this so y'all can see it better. Now we're gonna put in the wet ingredients. So right here, usually you wanna make a little, like a well type thing in the, in the the, the stuff we put in there. I don't remember what we just did. and But there's not enough space in the bowl, or there's not enough stuff in the bowl to do that. So we got something, we got a little like makeshift thing right there. So first, we need the egg. Wait a minute, it's not whisked. Oh, well there it is. Now we just dump it in. Whee! And then now, once we got that in, we have three quarters cup buttermilk. That's what it is. Pour that in there too. And then now we have two tablespoons of butter. Melted, obviously. It wouldn't be a liquid if it wasn't. Duh. <laughs> With that in there. And then now we whisk it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay yeah. We. Okay, y'all, uh, pal army, welcome back. It is mixed in the bowl. So now the next step is, now we're going to heat up the pan. Right here, flat bottom pan. So it doesn't, so the pancakes don't uh, wobble or whatever the pancakes would do. Now we're going to set this to like a, uh, medium medium low heat on the the burner now my burner has numbers so that'd be like a five five four ish i put it at five because like things hot like like some chef probably said that at some point and now we wait for the for the thingy to heat up right here we have these pretzel stick and cheese thingies to eat while we're waiting for the pan to heat up and <laughs> um, this Kroger brand, I think. Well, we'll give this a one out of ten rating. Um, if I could ever open it. You haven't even tried it yet. Why are you already giving it a one? No, no, no it's gonna be a one, one two ten rating. One two oh. ten rating. <laughs> and you gotta dip the pretzel stick in the cheese. This is like a five. It tastes exactly has how how is you exactly how you'd expect it would. 
now I guess it's time to get back to the pan and see if it's warmed up or not. Okay, magic trick worked. We uh, we got it sizzling. So first step, we're gonna need some butter to put on the pan to prevent the pancakes from sticking to the pan. That's what they're cooking on. <laughs> As a professional chef, I would know, right? Comment down below if you're also a professional chef in the comment section. That way we can uh, we can validate each other on cooking. You know. <laughs> There's the butter. One slice of butter. I kind of just cut it off. You know, you don't have to measure what you're putting on the pan. You want to like mix it around, get it, get it really schmoovin' in there, as the gamers would say. All buttery. Um, now it's now it's pancake time. Now what we're gonna do is we have a ladle. Pancake batter is really thick for some reason. I don't know. And we're gonna loop it on there so you want to put it in the middle and really just just get it off of the, the ladle as best as we can that's probably that's probably a good ish amount now uh, no chef is perfect so I'll just you know do this don't try this at a restaurant, kiddies. If you ever go into the culinary field, they probably wouldn't like that. Now we're gonna do one of these, get it all, get it all circular, and we gotta hurry because it's already cooking. Uh, mango time. We put the mangoes on, and it just, just, just around. You know, like, like, the, like you would the blueberries. But since we're not we're not blueberrying it up, we're just we're just man mangoing it. That's probably a good enough amount. So what we're doing is we're waiting for like the it to start bubbling, the pancake itself. And then we will flip it. So um it might actually take a while. As we can see, there's some uh, there's some stuff, there's some little bubbles forming. So we're gonna check the bottom, see if it's brown. And you know, it's uh, it's brown, so we're gonna go for a flip. Good old Glam Jesus special here. And you know, we we really shit the bed on that one, but we're gonna we're gonna you know we're gonna salvage it, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll just sit here and we'll wait for the pancake to be done. Now we're back. Um, we should probably check the bottom. It's a... Uh, it's getting there, so we'll um just wait some more, you know. <laughs> What's that phrase? Uh, you know, good things come in small packages. It's the only phrase I can really think of. Doesn't? It's not the one I was looking for, but it's the one you'll get. Now we'll check again. Okay, now that it's done, it's done uh, going. We can take it off the pan. Ta ta da! There it is. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, I did myself this time. We have to let the pancake cool off a little, so 
I might as well try again. I mean, it was pretty good the last time, but oh well. <laughs> we got a message from, um, I don't know, the, we got a message from staff on hand. And we got a, we got a, we got a rebutter after that one. So there we go. Just used a second knife, because that's how we do things. Buttered. Let's just go for the second try. This time I can't really can't really take too long on um, the glooping of the the batter. That actually that's that's pretty good. I it's round. It's everything I ever wanted. Everything you'd ever want too from a pancake. And now it's time to uh, to mango it up, as I like to say. I don't ever say that, but, no. <laughs> Make a square pancake. I will never make a square pancake. Okay, <laughs> wait, no, one more. One more mango. Mangoes are on. Now we, we, uh, what is it called? Waiting. We waiting. <laughs> like the movie with Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> now we, we have re returned and the, uh, it's, we're getting the the bubbles on the side here, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little little check, and it looks brown. Y'all didn't get to see that because I flipped it weird, but now we're going for the flip. Oh, it's like an oval shape. Well, I'll flip this part too because it it's been it's been cooking as, as well. Looks like a grilled cheese. It does look like a grilled cheese. <laughs> okay. Um, we got the like the little toast marks right here. All the butter seemed to have gone to the to the one side. So I hope that doesn't mean we can't flip it. Wait, why would we? Never mind. D no, no, that. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I don't even know what I'm saying. We're gonna check the pancake now that it's been sitting for a bit. And it looks a little, looks a little done. Boom! And I think that's all we're making. Remember to turn off your burner. If you don't, um, more power to you, I guess, but it's not very smart. And now it's time for the taste test. Actually, it's time for the comparison. Uh, leave a comment down below telling which pancake you like the most. Pancake number one or pancake number two. And, um, you know, we'll just, we'll try pancake number one first, I guess. I don't think this has any mangoes in it. This is not the mango part. Okay, wait, okay, well, no, we'll try it anyway. It tastes like a pancake, but all the mangoes are are in the side. So so we'll get it from the side this time. You know, food gets a little hot. Um, uh, it's a little doughy. It tastes like, uh, I couldn't really taste the mangoes, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's, um, let's try pancake number two. Let's <laughs> we did a little, a little better on that one. Uh, are there, let's just hope there's a mango in this one. This one's actually hot now. I gotta, you know, do that for real. Uh, I mean, good pancake, I guess. I didn't, get, <laughs> I didn't get the mango again. Okay, there's the mangoes. There's the mangoes. Maybe I should have flipped these a little better. No, <laughs> oh, please. Okay, uh... 
Good lord, just get on the fork. Ow. It tastes like a mango pancake, I guess. Maybe, maybe I know, maybe I just like mango flavor more than mangoes, because these mangoes got kind of no flavor. Why did I, I <laughs> it, never mind, <laughs> okay. Um, syrup goes on pancakes, so maybe we'll, um, that's probably enough. I don't know why I didn't pour that on the whole pancake and not in only the one spot. Didn't think that through. Oh man, I see a doughy part. No. No. Okay, here goes nothing. It tastes fun. I'd say, um... It's a pancake, and the mangoes don't add much to it. Honestly, for a second there, when I was trying to cut into it, I thought I'd put pineapples in there on accident, because they look the same, which um, probably isn't true, but, you know. I'd give this meal uh, a 6 out of 10, you know it's fine. Because 6 out of 10 equals fine. Actually, it'd be this way. Six out of ten equals fine, because that's the way you 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 people from from home see it, you know. Because it's I can't. Never mind. Never mind. Um, if you enjoyed watching this episode of Food Friday, the title we have right now, be sure to 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 um, to thank you. No, like right, to subscribe and like the video and leave a comment if you feel like it. I, I don't ever leave comments on videos, so you, you, know, you do you. And thank you for watching. Good night! I forgot to do my review with the little pretzel stick things. You know, we who cares about the pancake? We gotta do this review real quick, Evelyn. I'll just throw this in at the spot I originally wanted to throw it in at.